Mr. Sean Murphy. What a legend. How are we? How I'm all right. right. All right. Probably a little bit better now than I will be after this nine holes we're about to I'm play. I'm not sure. I'm not too <laughs> sure about I've that. Heard, I've heard and seen you pretty good, oh. so uh, I'm nervous. You're off scratch, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, got to scratch a few years ago and uh, somehow uh, managed to keep it there. Yeah, I don't know how. And then the handicap system changed and all that, but yeah, yeah managed to keep it. Right, so uh, Ange, what's the rules today? What are we doing? You're good, so you're actually playing stroke play. Yeah. We're not so good, so we're going to have a shot each, yeah. whatever the best shot is. We take. We're going to play it from there. And only one, one putt. One putt. We're not sharing putts. Okay. Here we go, first shot nerves. Good luck, boys. Stop. Oh. Stop. Get in that trap. Stop. Stop. Get in the sand. It's, it's over. gone over, isn't it? Well over. Well over. Uh, well don't... over. <laughs> My eyes are gone. Sean sure Murphy to break first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, zinger laser burger. Laser. Absolute laser beam. Oh, is Settle it? down. Settle down. <laughs> I'm not going to take mine. Pizza at Weldy. Let's get out of this. I think I was here one day. I think Carlos Tevez got hauled off. No. Was he here? I think he was here. He just wandered on. And there was some big corporate day going on. Carlos Tevez just got absolutely... Just, just, surprised me. He just wandered on and started playing and got hauled <laughs> off. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? Well, I can do what I want on Carlos Tevez. Yeah. yeah. What a legend. Don't yeah. worry about it. So a bit slappy. A bit slappy, but it's, it's up safe. there. It's up there. It's, it's right. up there. It's a flick. It's a flick. It's a flick on. Oh, strike. Oh, no. He's gone right. He's gone right. Is it right, club? Advantage, Mr. Sean Murphy. Golf related, we always ask it first out. Um, how long have you been playing for and who got you into it? You know, golf was always like a present thing in the family. My dad played pro um, oh, yeah. in the Manchester area. He was like a local pro at a, a course yeah. in North Manchester. And um, he'd had to give up. He, had, he tore all the tendons in his wrist mm -hmm. as like a, you know, a young pro. So that was his golf career sort of over. But then like, I used to, I remember as a child, he'd go off playing golf or when I was a junior snooker player, he'd be playing someone in the club for mother, go off golfing. So golf was like a thing. Yeah. I think I was probably, 15, 16 when I first took it up mm. and uh, something like that and I played at a small course in Rushton in Northamptonshire yeah. then I joined Wellingborough which was like the that was the sort of best club in the area mm. made some really good mates with the, the, some of the lads in the junior clubs there we're still friends like to this day and we had just great crack all the time and then there was a couple of summers where I wouldn't say I had to choose between snooker and golf yeah but you know, when I certainly when I got my wheels, the first time yeah. you get the car, yeah. now I can go where I want. Yeah. It was it was a bit harder to go to the snooker <laughs> yeah. club, you know, and yeah. the sun was nice yeah. out. So there was one time I went, um, you know, I went practicing snooker because that's you know that's my job. Yeah. And uh, me and my mate Jason had just decided to go off playing golf instead. So uh, my dad rings me and he said, um, "How's the uh, how's the practice going?" Yeah, no, good. because you know, he was like my coach and manager at the yeah. time, like you know. He goes, uh, yeah, how's this? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, working on my game. It's all going well. He said, oh, good. He said, um, it's just that I'm in the snooker club. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll know where to be. And you're not. <laughs> oh, not here. Apparently, I haven't been here for days. <laughs> oh, you know, my handicap was tumbling, and my, yeah. but so was my world ranking. Yeah. You know, I was like falling off the tour at the time. And yeah, the golf, golf was a bit of a problem. It's certainly like with my snooker for a couple of seasons. But. Um, yeah, sure, look, as we know, it's just there's nothing better, is there? No, nothing exactly. better. It's the best game. You tried to qualify for the Open as well, didn't you? Yeah, I... I um, was that 15, was it? When was that? No, it was It was uh, just maybe two or three years ago. It was just okay. before the pandemic. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I got down to scratch mm, yeah. somehow. And uh, some, one of my mates said, uh, geez, you know, off, now you're off scratch, you can enter the Open. Amazing. And I was... I thought Sorry? it was a wind-up. I thought yeah. it was a wind-up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there was a joke. So uh, I went online, had a look at the entries, and he was right. So it cost me 150 quid. Yeah. Like, you just can't not do it. No, no. you've got to. And, to go, um, yeah. I'm going to do that when I get to scratch. <laughs> well, my mate, my <laughs> mate caddied for first. me. <laughs> my, uh, my mate Robbie caddied for me uh, and uh, we just went. We had an unbelievable day. Yeah. 
uh, with full imposter syndrome. And it was dead weird because like everyone who was there was either a pro golfer mm, yeah. or wants to be a pro mm. golfer. And we rock up as snooker players. He's like the best amateur snooker player in Ireland, yeah. uh, Robbie. And uh, he's caddied for me at the snooker. We've rocked in. Uh, we've done like a couple of mini stretches. We've hit five balls on the range. You know, like yeah. snooker players would. Yeah. Let's go and qualify. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. Let's go, lads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. Game, then, no? I think I was one under after three. And uh, then the wheels came off. Right. Like fully off. Yeah. But it was an unbelievable experience. Yeah. Like, that's it was a great day out. Experience. It was a great so day out. So the gun says 140. Oh, no. Oh. 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 A little bit toppy, but it's up there. That was it. That was it. Oh, it's wrong. Oh, wow. Why is it so quick? Winter's gone. What happened there? Winter's gone. I thought that was Bob on. Oh. Jeez, it doesn't look unstuck to me. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's really hard, the green, isn't it? Can I do any better? That is the question. Oh no, is the answer. That's Land gone, it. That's gone miles over. My ball! Your my ball! ball. Your it's ball. a putt off. <laughs> it's a putt off. Bit thin, Lizzie. Out, not tendered. Out, please, yeah. Fully out. I did miss one of these ones. <laughs> <laughs> speed, speed, get up. Oh! Goodness me. Roll her in. Roll her in. Roll it. Oh. I think that's enough for you, isn't it? Oh, I think you can have that. Oh, you, you, oh. Give it. you can have it, yeah. You can have that. Mr. He's Murphy. Sure. He's never watched the channel, he's obviously. He's not watched his channel. He's giving that to me, mate. But we take it. He's giving it to me. Oh, he's giving it. Easy. Oh, it's lovely, it's in. Never in doubt. Nil, All nil. square. Nil, All nil. square. Lovely this nine. is class. Oh no. Oh! Fuck <laughs> out that bunker. Straight in the bunker. <laughs> right, are we, are we taking a drive? Down. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Nice connection, a bit right, but a nice connection. Right, but not too bad. Oh, so no. Yeah. That good? The tee's up. That says it all. It was good, wasn't that? I didn't, I didn't actually see it. Yeah. It was all right, wasn't it? It was, uh, yes. It, very, it was very all right. Sean, top golfer, one of the best in the world at snooker, and I hear you're pretty handy at darts. And I've also been told, one four seven break, a nine data, and Cheeky a hole in one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. That's a ripple. I mean, how many people? How many people in the world have done that? Do you reckon? I don't reckon there's many. Oh, it's probably. It came slim. up on. Uh, it came up on Twitter not long ago, and. Uh, do you know? I don't think there's. I think it might be a club of one. I think you could be the. I could be, I could be in a club of one. Yeah. Which suits me, to be honest. <laughs> um, no, it? no. It's just, It's one of those strange little things. I mean, I've had one. Nine darts. You put nine it, darts was, and nine darts. You no, know, they all went in. Yeah. Um, it was in the Carter's Arms pub in Sale. Yeah. In Manchester. And Phil Taylor had sent me a set of his darts right. as a bit of a, you know, to show on all the best type of yeah. thing. Yeah. And it was literally, you could have thrown them anywhere, and they went in. <laughs> just, they just yeah. curled and went in the thing. And I just stood there one night, and I was just in that sweet spot of you've had just enough pints yeah. to. Nice yeah, level. Relax, nice relax, relax, right there. Yeah. And just hit nine of the perfect that it was just only happened once but it, it, it happened. happened it happened, it happened. Yeah. Uh, the hole in one, one was at um royal whirlington down near newmarket right. little nine hole course played there bright and early one morning uh, got i think it was the sixth or the seventh part you weren't three. on your own were you no definitely so someone saw it. No, someone no, saw it it was but no one saw it oh, oh was it was it elevated like, or it was something? like misty right? oh no dead early knew you'd hit a good shot yeah Got up there, where's your ball? Where's the ball? Oh, oh it's in the hole. So I'd never seen it. Yeah. And then the 147. Yeah. 
Yeah, it'd be bad if I had one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be bad. Yeah. What ten, did, ten in the world, never got one four seven. <laughs> what yeah. did you celebrate more from? Which one did you proper like go? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, uh, lads, but that pulls about four hundred yards oh, back that way. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll start walking back all around this chat. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Which one uh, made you? Goodness. Uh, well, I suppose the uh, the hole in one was probably the one that you know yeah. got the juices going because it. You know, I know golfers who've played all their life and never had one, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, Good golfers as well. Yeah, no, I, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. You know, I think there's a lot of luck involved. Yeah. Having said that, I remember doing a charity day once at the Grove. Yeah. And there was a pro, we did it for Sparks, and the pro there, um, we had two in one day. No. Like a challenge, like a challenge the pro par three yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he sunk two. In. He had two in one day. So, <laughs> yeah. unbelievable. You know. Wow, well, congratulations. I've got, I've got, uh, you've, got, you've got one, haven't you? I've got two. I've got one, yeah. I've got two and a half, it doesn't count. Mine half. was like proper lucky. Mine was 100% lucky. It went along the floor and scuttled in. I mean, it's not, it wasn't like it, dropped. It, and... I mean, is there an element of luck to holding, holding ones? You don't know the contours of the green, the wind, yeah, the page, true. You know. true. Yeah, I think, I think there's definitely an element of luck to them all. Yeah. yeah. Even in snooker with the... Snooker's obviously 36 shots. Yeah. Um, they don't all have to be perfect. And then when you're splitting the reds, you know, you can't control where they're all going to go. Yeah. So you need a little bit of luck with that. But I suppose, like for me, certainly compared to a nine darter, mm. like I'm amazed there's not more nine darters because the target never moves. The target's always the same. Yeah. Right, Whereas yeah. in snooker, the configuration of the balls is mm. always different. Mm. Yeah. Um, in golf, That's there are so point, many that, yeah. variables in golf. So I don't know. If you were trying to work out which was the hardest, you know, if you, it's got to be one, four, if you took a beginner yeah. and tr let them go off at all three, which one would they get first? You know, they'd oh, never get great, a one great four, point. Seven. It's a great question, that. And you legends, we've asked you before, but yeah. answer it now. If, a beginner, it if a beginner started now, you know, what would he get the first? I reckon he'd get nine dart of the first. Yeah, I don't have you seen those those things? I thought it was really good the European Tour came out with them, didn't they? With it, take a pro yeah. and give them 500 balls all day, mm. yeah. play the par threes. Yeah. I think Andy Sullivan Andy got Sullivan. one. Yeah. And he's like over the moon. You see him run down the hill. He's going to fall over like in a minute. He's going to the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I mean, you could be there all day. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad I've got the nine data tucked away because I, <laughs> I wouldn't fancy getting another one. I'm going to yeah. go nine data hole in one, one, four, seven. What, easiest or hardest? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm probably going to go with that as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, right. There Let us go. know at home. 188. I've gone five iron. I'm going to try and a bit of fade. Oh, what a shot. Coming? What a shot. Keep coming. Oh. Yeah, great shot. Oh. Might be long, but great shot. playing. Huh? Might be a bit long over the back. Do I even need to take a shot? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad shot. Stay there. Yeah, we're up there. Oh, hit the, yeah, off the tree. Hit, the tree. hit off the tree. Trick shot. Oh, wow. So, it's the shot you wanted to hit. Just didn't turn left, did it? Back right over the green, I think. Just forgot just to indicate left. I'm going to putt. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, not too bad. So we are putting, but we're putting off the green. And in our weird little rules, we can't putt on the green twice with the putter. So I'm going, here we go. Like that. Oh. Like that. Oh, hello. Like oh, hello. Oh, like that. Hello. Like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that is the best part I've ever seen. Yeah. What a part! <laughs> 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 you can't love legends. Yeah. Come and play golf, they said. It'd be fun, they said. <laughs> Liars. Got, you need this for the half. Need this for the half. Drain it, come on. Oh, nearly, oh, oh, nearly, nearly. <laughs> nearly. For it. nearly pitched in though. Dale's one up. Hole 12. Uh, and it's at 147 yeah, distance. Not 147, it could be your hole. If this goes in the <laughs> hole, I just want it noted before we play the hole. 147's the magic number. What's the score? 
It's uh, one nil to the Dales. Is that after the birdie on yeah, the last? After the, mm. after the do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still buzzing. Unbelievable. <laughs> Celebrated like footballers. <laughs> right, here we go. Can he keep up the form? Eight iron. Oh, oh, nice. Just turn over a fraction. Come round. Oh, oh yeah. Nice oh, shot. Oh, like that. Come so on. you've come to play today, haven't you? <laughs> like that. <laughs> yes. Come on, the golf. Oh, what a shot. Oh, my God. Short. Oh, front it's edge. just crept Ooh, on. Front edge. Front edge. Good shot, Biggin. A little bit short. I think it probably was an eight. Good shot, Biggin. Oh wow. Oh don't go in. Oh, oh wow. wow. Don't go in. Oh wow. Oh, oh it's way short. Oh, oh, short. Oh, short. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was I thought that looked good. I yeah. thought that was bang on. Well it looked good. You nearly did a no look hole in one. I yeah. thought don't go in. <laughs> it didn't. So Sean, we uh, found out how you got into uh, golf. But uh, how did you get into snooker? Yeah, do you know, by complete fluke. Um, never heard of snooker, didn't know what it was and I'd written off to Santa right. for a Commodore 64. Old school. Oh, Old yes. school, you know? What a console. I love that. Wrote off for one. Yeah. And uh, didn't get one. Oh. He got me a, a little Steve Davis endorsed pot black snooker table and it was about that big. Yeah, yeah. And I came down that morning all, all excited like you do and I came down there was this snooker and I was like, what is that? and uh, just started knocking some balls around like. And then my mum and dad got up and didn't really bother with any other bra. I was just, it was like literally yeah. hooked. Chance day. Memorised. That, that, that day. Yeah. And then there are, there are, my mum's got some pictures of me like boxing day and actually playing, actually looked like a little snooker. I've been playing a day. Mm. And I think, uh, I think I had a, like a 50 break on the table within a few weeks. Wow. And my dad told the story that he was like, said to my mum, like, that's, that's a bit weird, like, you know, yeah, that's, yeah. that's odd, he's only been playing days. And uh, I think that was eight, and then I was nine in the August, and somewhere between that December and the August the following year, I started playing on a full-size table mm -hmm. at the local club in Rushton, near where I grew up. Yeah, a little stool. And, well, I'm, yeah. I had a little box yeah. to stand on. Yeah. And, uh, People say like I've become probably like one of the best with the rest. Yeah. But like as a child, I could barely see over the table, you know. Yeah. So I played a lot of shots with the rest, and um, yeah, it was kind of just by complete mistake. But once I got into it, you know, it was the classic. You know, a lot of kids are shaking their parents awake in the morning, take them football training yeah. or whatever. I was, I was, I want to go down the club, dad, like you know. Yeah. And it just took over, you know. Every night after school, and then I ended up leaving school when I was thirteen. Yeah. Um, I did some GCSEs privately, yeah. but I never went to school after that. Oh, all right. And, um, so so just snooker, snooker, yeah. snooker, so snooker, 15, snooker. yeah, and that was it. That's an amazing story. Did you ever get the Commodore 64? Do you know what happened? When I won the world title, <laughs> um, uh, Sega, who yeah. bought the rights to them, heard yeah. the story and they yeah. sent me one. What I've done is I've kept it as a box set and it's going to be my retirement project. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brilliant. I was two snooker tables short. <laughs> Stop. Oh, that was close. Oh, touch of a baby rhino. <laughs> <laughs> You, you went early with the dance. Yeah, I thought it was it. You went early <laughs> with the dance. Right. Yeah. right. Sean sure needs this. These 15 footers for halves are nice, aren't they? <laughs> Just what you want. It's a good part, Sean. It's good. Oh, he's lipped it. Oh, he's lipped it. I thought what a great it, putt, though. I thought it was sailing in. There you go, sir. Thank you. The Dales are two up. Two nil. This does not happen a lot. What we have? I mean, the There's plenty of golf the to play. Though. There's loads of golf to There's play. Plenty of golf to play. Stroke index one. Sean, this is a tough hole, right? Yeah, this is a tough hole. Yeah, good long hole. Good test. This one. Oh, 
perfect. Great drive. Do you, you know, know that you know that feeling when you've been hustled? <laughs> You know when you've just had your pants down? <laughs> pants whipped clean off. Yeah, this is like the old days in the I'd snooker clubs. <laughs> you know, someone would come in who you didn't know. Yeah. Fancy a game? Oh yeah, I'll have a game, yeah. 100 quid later. Uh, <laughs> no. Sorry about this anymore. <laughs> Did that used to happen quite a lot? I mean, certainly when I grew up playing, you know, in the clubs, I think it was just more of a thing in the late 80s, early 90s. The right. culture was, you know, everyone played for money. Yeah. Um, you do a bit of solo, but there was always money games going on. It was yeah. just that kind of thing. It was yeah. that, that's the way the game was. Um, I'm sure golf was the same. Like, yeah, you know, there'd be people yeah. playing for a few quid. Yeah. But um, I knew a few lads, they played for money that, you know, they didn't have. Really? Yeah, and there was a few. You didn't get away with that very often. Like, yeah. you know, you get a couple a of warnings. Issues. Yeah. You get a few warnings. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> no shot for me. That's it, a weldy. Just drawing again. It's a lovely clean strike though. Yeah, I think I saw it drop. Is yeah. it where those birds flew off? Yeah. So Sean, um Snooker's changed a lot throughout the years as we as we know, but how, how talk us through it, how much has it actually changed characters and things like that? And what, what's, the, what's the difference now from then? I think, uh, like, it, it's one of the greatest myths of sport, really, that people say, oh, there's no characters in snooker anymore. Yeah. And of course, like, from my point of view, that's just simply not true. I think in the 80s, in snooker's perceived heyday, mm. although snooker's doing better now than it's ever done, yeah. um, the pros, they made their livelihood and their living through doing shows and exhibitions yeah. and they learnt how to play with the crowd and tell jokes and you know entertain mm -hmm. yeah. and tournaments were you know they were few and far between yeah. obviously now that's completely flipped on its head yeah. and uh, the players now perhaps wouldn't be so used to having to have a bit of a laugh and the crack with the crowd and yeah. perhaps that's given the impression that there aren't as many characters but you know it's become a very serious business um, but like when I first started there was still a bit of a like a drinking culture sure, yeah. players were still taking the odd beverage into the arena yeah. smoking was obviously still a thing it was a, it was a b and h the, ben, the bensons yeah, yeah. Um, they used to sit well, they just they used to just time. absolutely like destroy the packets of fags and everything like yeah. the people still call it the embassy yeah yeah of course so strong was the link yeah you know and then as players you know imperial tobacco or whatever you know you could literally say oh, i want five thousand fags tomorrow and there'd be a low load around the back like you know oh, different is... times you know yeah different times would people just sit there and get absolutely banjacks like during the game so? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know about that yeah. i don't know about that but uh, you know there was definitely more of a as i say because the tournaments were so few and far between they were seen as a bit of a showcase yeah their their work was through the week doing the shows right okay uh, the, ch the tournaments were probably seen as a chance to let your hair down a bit mm. and put on an entertainment for everyone and someone will win it yeah yeah um and then obviously that's that's completely flipped over the years but yeah i don't i don't know of anyone that would now take a drink yeah before a match, after a match, yeah. during a match. Well, it's like darts, isn't it? I don't know. Of, darts, don't know darts it. players used to like used to do it on stage, didn't they? But yeah. that's you know, not allowed anymore. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you're allowed now. Not allowed, you know, no. to I'm drink not, in I mean, the I'd arena. be surprised if you were. Yeah, but that doesn't stop. You can still have you can still go for a wee and have a little shot or whatever. Yeah, I, I, but I think I think it's good. Like snooker, snooker and Q Sports have been trying to get you know Olympic accreditation for a long time, right. and yeah. you know it. it, it you can't, you know, you, you've got to lose that. You can't be sat there having a fag and drinking a pint if you're going to be taken. <laughs> yeah. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Olympics. You can't really do that. It, it's no. because the, the younger guys have come through with that sort of men, mentality, do you think, and, and, and the older guys have lived it and, and they're probably coming out the back end of it going, that's probably not good for me anymore. And that's sort of the reason why what, no one really does it anymore. What happened was Davis and Hearn arrived on the scene in the early 80s. Yeah. Steve Davis and Barry Hearn they arrived with, you know, under the, the match room mm. and they just started their own little business, right. which has now gone on to become massive, obviously massive. massive. Yeah. And um, they walked in the players room at a tournament once and went, geez, everyone here is drunk. And Alex is beating the ref up. And, <laughs> and you know, Griffiths is only borrowed about his hair. 
and 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 Dennis is just telling jokes. And Jimmy's <laughs> Jimmy's doing whatever Jimmy's doing. Yeah. And Kirk's there. And the, and he went. You know, if you just practice for six seven hours a day, yeah. stay on the water yeah. at yeah. tournaments, keep your head down. We yeah. just take these guys apart. And that's what they did. Wow. And then Stephen Hendry followed his example. Yeah. Johnny Gins, Mark Williams, Ronnie O'Sullivan yeah. followed their example. And and over a period. It's changed. And they did all right. And everyone did all right yeah. about it, you know, and the guys who were still going, ah, sure, I'll have a few. Yeah. They've kind of, they've fallen by the wayside a bit. Well, maybe. I suppose it's like football as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's I mean, it. I mean, it's mentality, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's like, you know, football in the night. Yeah. 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 Fitness, rather than being high over, you're going down the gym or you're practicing earlier yeah. and yeah. It all has a knock-on effect, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, as I say, I think as the game, the game's tried to be seen in a more serious light. Yeah. Uh, you have to shed a lot of that, you know, you have to let go of that. Yeah. We have, a, we have enough problem convincing people we're a sport. Mm. You know, when you wear a dress suit and dress shoes, yeah. Yeah. you know, how, how can you be seen as a sport? Well, it's much harder if you're drinking as well and smoking as well, so <laughs> yeah. we're trying our best. Like, Fair right? enough. Love that. Really yeah. interesting. Here we go. Why am I playing all my shots from the... Uh, to be fair, you haven't played for five months, though. Yeah. So, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. Oh, I just caught the train. Go on, run out. Be... Keep it's rolling. Good. Oh, still got. Look at go that. On, run. Go on then. Go on. Go on, go on then. Oh, it's hey, nice. That would have been unbelievable. Yeah. That clip, wouldn't it? Story of my life. That's oh, oh nice. Nice. Deep rolling, deep rolling, deep rolling. Do you two leave me alone like you do? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Proper it's turn relentless. <laughs> we have a drugs test, please. <laughs> oh, striker. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's oh, fine. that's a Think lovely strike, big un. Fine. In there. Lovely strike, big un. Just having my absolute pants ripped down. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about characters. I feel like I've meant to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we're a hustler, baby. Like, yeah. um, who's the biggest character you've come across in your time in snooker so far? Well, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's just so many to, there's just so many to choose from. Um, like the older style players, you know, they so many stories and I've, I've just started doing the commentary now. So, you know, I'm spending a lot of time around, you know, your yeah. Dennis Taylors and um, John Virgo, the story John, they, uh, the stories they've got about players who I didn't get to meet, you know, like your John Spencers and John Pullmans yeah. and, and all that, like just great, great stories. But yeah, we have a lot of laughs on tour, you know, a lot of the lads on tour, we, we, we have loads of crack, loads of banter. Um, there's a big practical joke scene. Um, I remember once I was, I was invited to play in a, it became the Premier League, but it was the Matchroom League yeah. at the time. And I was about 11, 12. And it was sponsored by Doc Martins, as was I. Yeah. And in their contract was like, I got to play each player a frame. Oh. So I'm like introduced to that sort of world very young. Yeah. And I'm sat in the player's lounge at 12, like thinking, you know, I think I feel like I've made it. <laughs> I'm sat with Ronnie and Jimmy. And Jimmy's sat there reading the paper, because this is obviously before mobiles and yeah. iPads and all. He's sat there reading the paper. I know Sullivan's coming like dead like thingy. He set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and it took him a, it took him a lot longer than it should have done to realise his paper was on fire. But yeah, it's nah. half cut. Yeah. I said, you know, we, there's, there's, there's been some great things happen, and you know, cues have gone missing, and shoes have gone missing, and yeah. all sorts. Like, yeah, it's a great time. We have a good, we have a good laugh on tour. Like that. Zip, zip, zip. Oh, oh it didn't zip. These greens are hard. It didn't zip, did it? What happened to the zip? You Where was the check perfectly. side? You played that perfectly and it didn't zip. The queue, the clubs. <laughs> oh, he's so nice, that Sean. <laughs> what a. <laughs> <laughs> Keep coming, keep oh, coming, keep coming. Oh, it's a little tea time tease. He's left in that distance again. <sighs> a little tea time tease. Come on, just one time. Just once. Oh! <laughs> That's two lips and four holes. 
<laughs> You're not having a lot of luck, I've got to be honest. Oh my god. Oh dear, oh dear. So unlucky. <laughs> right, this hasn't been my distance. But confidence, all you legends have been saying, believe in yourself more. I'm believing in myself. <laughs> Nobody likes to see that. Sure, I'm seeing it every round at the no moment. No one likes to see that. I'm seeing it every round. So, what's that half? You can have that. We've halved it. Half a fowler. Half a fowler. Two up. What a nightmare. What How am I game? still in this? How am I still in this game? <laughs> Eight iron. Par three. Nah. There we go. <laughs> Absolute pone patrol. Pone patrol galore. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Oh, you just slipped. I slipped, yeah, back foot. You slipped. Oh. I thought you were going for some sort of <laughs> become dancing yeah. move there. I thought that was. Come on, Murph. Just put it on the green. Get it on the dance. Just get it on the green. If it happened to go in the hole. Turn in. And that is on the dance floor. He's on. Love it. Sean, you won the World Championships in 2005. Congrats. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, cheers. I'll have cheers. a go on that one. Cheers. What was that night like? Yeah, it was, it was uh, late. Um, or early. Yeah, early, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, obviously it was, you know, absolute dream come true and, and uh, it was strange to achieve it so I was the second youngest winner of it so I was only 22 and um, it was the first win of my career of any kind you know professional tournament mm -hmm. so I didn't really know how to celebrate you know I know that sounds weird but I didn't know what to do and um, you just sort of get involved don't you and, and I never forget it was the it was the last embassy so all the old embassy guys were there from Imperial Tobacco and all these, you know, they'd been part of snooker for 30, 40 years. Yeah. And it was their last night. So the party was, the party was mad like, but I never forget, um, I beat Matthew Stevens and he was expected to win. Like, he, you know, he would have been the favorite. And at mm. the end of the night, like we're all several drinks in and it was Ted Lowe. You remember the old commentator? Yeah, yeah, Ted, yeah, the yeah. whispering Ted. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of his retirement year. He, he never come. He came and commentated for a session of the semi, right? And he was never seen again. And uh, we're at the table. I've got the trophy in front of me. Yeah. An hour after I've won, and he came over. As a fart. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got. He put his hand on my shoulder and he said, um, "Now I just want to say, uh, I thought you played fabulous snooker, um, and you were very unlucky in the end." He said, now if you keep practicing, he said, I'm sure you're gonna get there one day, but chin up and keep going. <laughs> and he turned on the spot and he walked across the room to Matthew Stevens <laughs> and, and, and congratulated him on the win. <laughs> like, what a legend. He was like, no. You know, you're watching a car crash happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, please don't Just do it. Just trying to pull him don't back. Do it. Don't but go You've got to watch him doing it. And yeah. he walked across the room and we were like, oh, oh my. No. Well, it's, it's, it's better to say, you, yeah, you haven't won when yeah, you have won than go exactly. someone that hasn't won. What did, did you what want? Did, what did, can you see Steven's face just go, are yeah. you taking yeah. it? Yeah. And it's just, it's, um, and I, you know, I've subsequently lost in three other world finals. Uh, and uh, of course, Jimmy lost in six. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's, it's the worst match of the season of your life to lose. Mm, yeah. Um, I'm just so thankful that you know I got to put the win away in yeah. 05 because the, the, the three I've lost since have been their their sickness like you know to lose to come so close yeah. to taking that trophy home mm. yeah. and being champion of the world to come so close uh, and to lose in the final is is heartbreaking as a snooker player that's as close as it gets to catastrophe like you know yeah. and so to, uh, to to have been close three times and lost is is a sickness but you've done it but you have done it. Yeah, yeah so it's always extra on the trophy. Exactly. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, come on, big un. Oh, I mean, could be good. That could be good. Oh, settle, settle, settle. Oh, here we go. Right, can I better it? Same shot. Same, Same shot. Same, Same shot. Line. 
Uh, and My ball. that'll be all. Oh, it's nice. That's, that's good enough for me. Yeah. That's good enough for me. Thank it's you. It's a par. Thank you, I'll take it. It's a par. I'll take it. Oh, it's good, oh, it's good, it's good. But it's not oh. good enough. Oh, oh interesting. this is getting it's interesting spicy. interesting all of a sudden. Uh, that oh. is the end <laughs> of part one. What a part Sean Murphy is. is an absolute legend. Part two coming soon. Please like and subscribe, you golf life legends. legends.